Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another edition of the Indie Perspective. This is episode number 26, and we are discussing all things New Evolution Wrestling, homecoming, the fifth anniversary. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? My name is Ray Sanchez, and like I just said, we are going to be talking about all things NEW Presents, homecoming, the fifth anniversary. But before we get into the event, we are going to talk about there's a Halloween costume contest that will be held this Saturday at the event. So not only are you going to have a great night of professional wrestling, but also you have a chance to win some great prizes here as there's two categories. So it's going to be the two front row tickets to a future show and a $100 cash prize going to one category is being the kids, the best costume worn by a child, worn by the kids, seeing who's going to outdo the others. The second category will be the adults. And again, same prize goes. So this Saturday, dress to impress. Bring out your best costume. It's spooky season. So come enjoy at NEW Homecoming 5th Anniversary. Now, let's talk about the event, though. Let's talk about where it will be located and all that good information that you need to be able to make it to homecoming this Saturday. If you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets now from the event bright link down in the description down below. That is going to be where you can get your tickets that are starting at the low, low price of $25. And then that is going to be for your general mission tickets, your front row being 30, which again, it's still a steal for a Saturday night getting to enjoy a whole show at the world-famous Queensboro Elks Lodge. So, without further ado, let's get into the card. Let's start breaking this down here as we are going to start with a match that has a lot of meaning, especially for a lot of the competitors in this one, as it's going to be the 2023 Jose Chico Memorial Cup. In this match, you see it's going to be in person. You have Steve Persons in there. You have splendid Bobby C. You have representing the Sucios, Mel the Blind Fury himself. You have Super Nitro in there. You got Pancakes looking to dance his way to victory there. You have Joey Sins. You have Sir Rome. And again, all the competitors looking to walk away victorious here and honor Jose Chico, a man that, again, for many that have been a part of the tri-state area scene, have been influenced, have been just there. Jose Chico has a deep place in the heart of many, especially that are going to be competing on this night, and especially for those competing in this gauntlet matchup. But next... We are going to be talking about the NEW Best of the Best Champion, Jeremiah Triggs, as he'll be facing the winner of an eight-man tournament that will be kicking off the pre-show earlier in the night. However, this match coming with a little bit of controversy, as unfortunately, Jeremiah Triggs will not be holding his championship on, on Saturday. From what I've been hearing, they've tried to get in contact with CJ Bambino as CJ is still dealing with suspension after the actions done at the previous NEW event. And CJ has issued statements saying he would love to face Jeremiah Triggs for the championship that he claims is rightfully his. CJ Bambino saying that this is his championship. The management team, though, at NEW has kept the suspension on. Jeremiah Triggs will be facing the winner of said tournament, as we mentioned earlier. And then what will happen, though, with Jeremiah Triggs? Is his mind going to be on this title match, or is he thinking about C.J. Bambino? And who knows, though? Will C.J. Bambino try to be just a... Will, will the suspension keep him away from the Elks Lodge? Will CJ Bambino try to get himself involved somehow? We Again, it's going to be one of those reasons why you're going to want to be in the building this Saturday to see what goes down. But from one title match, we are going to go to another 
as it will be the NEW Women's Championship on the line as it will be defending champion Vanity defending against a veteran of the game in Angel or Orsini. Will Tenure defeat just the, the new champion here or will Vanity walk away with another defense under her belt? This is another match you're going to want to come and see live in person. Again, championships are going to be insane this Saturday. Because from one championship match, we go to another, as it will be the NEW High Impact Championship on the line, as it will be the Destroyer God himself, the technical extraterrestrial Ghost Shadow, going head-to-head -head with Azrael. This matchup is going to be one you can't miss. Two true veterans of the game, two innovators of a style we see very famous here today, a just innovator in Ghost Shadow. Submission moves that you've never seen before. Ways to get through things. It's going to be a match like none other. But then you have Azriel, Truly one of the best to do it. Again, has been tenured. We see these two competitors in there. I can't wait to see who is going to be able to get. It, it's in a match like this. It's always who makes that first mistake. It's always who's going to be able to capitalize on that first mistake done by their opponent to be able to walk away with a victory like this, especially in a title match situation. We know Ghost Shadow does not want to lose that high-impact championship, and Azrael, though, is not looking to make his way to Queens just to take a loss. He's been collecting championships. He's still holding championships all around. Ghost Shadow not looking to walk away from the fifth anniversary without his championship, but... You're going to want to be there this Saturday to see who truly will be victorious. But from there, we are now going to go into trios. Well, I should actually say tag team action as the NEW trios tag team championships have now been deemed the NEW tag team championships as the new design, new championships will be awarded to the current champions Astro Morales, TJ Marconi, and the NEW Heavyweight Champion, Walter Icebox Diaz. They, they go by many names, but we're going to call them, for the sake of a, of a name I know very well, The Project will be defending against the Graveyard Disciples. So this is, this is going to be interesting to see. Will... Who, which pairing will we see, not only of the Grey Yard Disciples, but of the current reigning and defending champions who are going in this free bird rule style? So, out of the trio, they're able to pick two members. So, will we see the true main attraction, the Don, public enemy number one, TJ Marconi, representing the group there? Will we see the Puerto Rican powerhouse, the Puerto Rican nightmare, just a true, just dominant competitor in Astro Morales? Or will the champ want to pull double duty? The current NEW heavyweight champion and one third or one... <laughs> Walter Diaz, the king of everything. Icebox Walter Diaz. Will he do double duty that night? Again, this is why you want to be there to see... What will happen when gold is on the line? But, again, right there, that could be it. That could get you in. That is the reason you want to be in the building this Saturday. But we have one more championship match, may I add. Championship match to talk about as it will be. Icebox, Walter Diaz, a.k.a. the king of everything, defending that NEW Heavyweight Championship against Dr. Sleep, Anthony Gangone. Walter Diaz walking into his very first defense as NEW Heavyweight Champion. And what a defense it will be because it's going to be against a man who is no stranger to world championships. A man who has held gold everywhere he goes. And especially... In the place that we are going to be in this Saturday, 
Anthony Gangone is no stranger to the Elks Lodge. Actually, years ago in that same Elks Lodge, Anthony Gangone became heavyweight champion. So looking to do the same this Saturday in his NEW debut. Will Anthony Gangone be able to put the ice box to sleep? Or will Walter Diaz be able to hit that purple thunder bomb for the one, two, three? Well then, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to be there this Saturday. Again, a stacked lineup here, a costume contest, and so much more. You're going to want to be there. Make sure you're there early. Always get there a little early. Make sure you're able to enjoy all the festivities. Again, doors opening at 6 p.m., Bell time, 7 p.m. Tickets are still available. Link in the description down below. But also, make sure you are following NEW on all their social media. Links will also be in the description down below. But make sure you're following them on Instagram, New Evolution Wrestling NYC. Follow them on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, New, Wrest uh, New Wrestling NY. And as always, guys, don't forget to... Be wise, be genuine, be real, be better people, respect the craft, and we'll see you guys this Saturday at Homecoming Anniversary 5. Peace.